Okinawa has many beautiful beaches that are home to many sea creatures. However, there are various species of dangerous sea creatures that include crown of thorn starfish, geography cone snail, barracudas, lionfish, blue tangs, sharks, pufferfish, and sea urchins. The two most dangerous creatures are the stonefish and box jellyfish. These creatures have caused the most recreational beach use related incidents besides rip currents and rogue waves. Really it's not been too bad because most of the venomous and dangerous creatures we have here aren't aggressive. Um, most envenomations are done purely through accident. So we really recommend having felt bottom boots. So they've got that puncture kind of uh, resistance there. And then we've got a couple of critters like the jellyfish that at certain times of years will be more prevalent. And during those times, we just recommend swimming either in the netted areas or really watching the waters and wearing appropriate protection. So long sleeves, long legs, that kind of stuff. But almost everything out here isn't aggressive by nature. So while there are some dangerous critters, they're really only dangerous if they're mishandled and whatnot. Um, I've been stung by jellyfish, uh, not very badly, but once or twice. Um, I've had a couple of other divers over the years get very minor stings, but nothing really bad there. I've had uh, one, or I've seen one person um, end up putting their hand on a sea urchin but by and large, they've all been minor injuries and really could have been avoided by just being more careful, walking out on the reef um, and kind of paying attention to the conditions around you. But like I said, generally, if you leave the things alone out here, you're not gonna run into any issues. Um, just to kind of respect them. A lot of them are incredibly curious and will actually come up to you or, um, so like the yellow banded sea crates, which are the big sea snakes that everyone sees all over the place. They're almost blind and they'll swim up to you, but they don't really mean any harm. So just kind of respect them, let them kind of check you out and they'll swim on their way and, and go. And then just pay attention for those times that the jellyfish and those kind of things are out and wear the appropriate clothing and there shouldn't be any really harmful interaction uh, between the creatures and us. Definitely, um, if you're going to swim, I recommend you swim at a resort that has a fencing, a net. Most of the resort hotels in Okinawa have a designated swimming area with, that's netted in. Keeps the sharks out, keeps the, um, keeps the jellyfish out during jellyfish season as well. So, recommend that anybody who's new to Okinawa stay within the designated swimming areas at the public beaches and the hotels. If you venture outside of those designated areas, chances are you're gonna encounter a jellyfish or a shark or an octopus or something you don't want to encounter. Swimmers must always be wary of dangerous sea creatures. If they don't take proper precautions, tragedy may be ready to strike. Despite these terrors, Okinawa's beaches are still an amazing attraction and are great places to spend a summer in Okinawa.